Have you guys ever just been, you know, playing on your hunter and thought to yourself, hmm, I really wish that I was playing a warlock right now. Well, today I'll be showing you guys how you can get the best of both worlds by basically turning your hunter into a warlock with near unlimited grenade spamming, on-demand invisibility whenever you want it, insane ad clear, crazy amounts of survivability, as well as having access to the single best damaging super in the entire game. This is probably the best hunter build that I've ever used to date, and I'm super excited to show it to you guys. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video as I have an infographic showing the build so that you guys can easily copy it. Real quick before I get into the video, I want to give a big thanks to today's sponsor, Keeps. Two out of three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time that they're 35, which truthfully absolutely frightens me. But the best way to prevent this from happening is to do something about it while there's still some hair left. With Keeps, they have multiple different treatment options for everybody, so if you're looking to prevent hair loss, simulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair that you have, Keeps has you covered. With Keeps, a licensed doctor will review your information online and then recommend a hair loss treatment that works perfectly for you without you ever having to visit a doctor's office or a pharmacy. And then, your specialized treatment plan is shipped directly to your door every three months. These treatments usually take about four to six months until you start to see results, so the sooner that you start using Keeps, the better. If you're ready to take action to prevent hair loss so that you can look like this guy when you're older, head on over to keeps.com slash nick2 or click the link down in the description to receive a whopping 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com slash nick2. Huge thanks to them for supporting this channel. So, now that the race to World First is over and the raid has been completed, we now have access to the new fragments on every character. The main one that we care about is Echo of Starvation, which is going to give us Devour whenever we pick up an Orb of Power. I hate that that rhymed. Upon testing this, we can see that whenever we pick up an Orb, it's going to give us Devour for a total of 5 seconds. Picking up any subsequent Orbs will add another 5 seconds to that timer, capping at a total of 10 seconds. In terms of the Devour buff itself, it functions exactly like it does on Warlock, each kill will give you grenade energy, as well as healing you to full health, and adding a total of 5 seconds to the Devour buff timer, capping at a total of 10 seconds. Obviously, there's much more to this build than just having Devour, but this is one of the key elements to this build and one of the main reasons that we're able to make it so strong. One caveat with this fragment though, is that the game actually doesn't let you pick up any orbs of power if your super is fully charged, meaning that if you have your super up, you can no longer get Devour. Luckily though, there is a workaround for this. If you're using an explosive light rocket launcher, the game will allow you to infinitely pick up orbs even after the max of 6 stacks of explosive light, allowing you to get Devour regardless of how charged up your super is. The same can also be said for Star Eater scales even after 8 stacks a piece of light. There may be some other workarounds to this, but I'm not aware of any other than the two that I just mentioned, but if you guys happen to know any, please feel free to leave it down in the comments. If you did happen to just learn something or you found any of those tips helpful, please feel free to drop a like on this video as that helps me out an absolute ton. So with that being said, let's get into how we're actually going to be able to take full advantage of Devour and what else we want to use with this build. The spawning orbs part is fairly easy, you just lap on either Harmonic Siphon or Kinetic Siphon, or even both at the same time if you plan on getting a lot of kills with a Kinetic weapon, such as Wither Horde, and then you'll just spawn an abundance of orbs. Some people may mention the new fragment that gives you an orb whenever you get a precision kill on a weakened enemy, but honestly weakening an enemy and then making sure that you get a precision kill, especially while using Volatile Flow, is just way too much effort and extremely inconsistent, so I would not rely on that. Also, running one orb mod on your helmet is pretty free. For this build, we're going to be using Harmonic Siphon since we're getting the bulk of our kills with a Void Weapon. Taking a look at the fragments that we're going to be using, which is going to drastically improve how good this is. First off, of course, we're using Echo of Starvation to get Devour in the first place, and we're going to be pairing that with Echo Persistence, which increases not only how long we stay invisible for, but also how long Devour is going to last. This is a massive quality of life improvement as it's going to give us 8 seconds of Devour baseline whenever we pick up an orb, rather than the measly 5. This is also going to increase the total duration of Devour to a cap of 15 seconds rather than 10, making it significantly easier to have nearly 100% uptime with Devour. It also increases the invisibility duration from about 5 to 8 seconds, which isn't entirely bad either. The last two fragments that we're using is Echo of Expulsion, which is nearly mandatory for any Void build since it will effectively double how good our ad clear is by making everything constantly explode. And lastly, we have Echo of Undermining, making our grenades weaken enemies, which will not only make our grenades do 15% more damage, but also whenever we defeat a weakened enemy, we'll go invisible since we're using Stylish Executioner. Alternatively, you can swap this fragment for something else that you prefer, such as Echo of Remnants or Instability, and then you can instead take advantage of the Wombo combo by throwing your smoke and grenades simultaneously, since the smoke bomb has weakened built into it. However, it's not nearly as good in my opinion, and your smoke bomb is not going to be available all that often. For our aspects, obviously we're going to be using Stylish Executioner. This is going to enable us to go invisible whenever we kill an enemy that is weakened or affected by Volatile, which we're going to be doing pretty much all the time, and it's going to give us two fragment slots. 
We're also going to be pairing this with the Vanishing Step, mainly because it's really easy to get our dodge cooldown super low, and we also get an extra fragment slot over the smoke bomb aspect. Pair this with Marksman Dodge, you can pretty much just dodge whenever you want to, not only for on-demand invisibility, but also for the guaranteed well spawning via the mod Reaping Wellmaker. We'll talk about mods in a second though. So obviously our main focus with this build is to spam grenades as often as possible, to not only just do a ton of damage, but also to spawn wells for our weapons to take advantage of. Because of this, we'll be running 100 Discipline as well as 100 Recovery for survivability. For the third stat, I would just go into Mobility if you have some extra stat lying around. In terms of our exotic, honestly, you can use whatever you prefer. The truth is that hunter exotics are pretty bad. I'm using Frosties just so I can get my grenade and dodge back even faster, but the regen on it is honestly kind of lackluster, and it does require you to sprint while using it, so it's certainly not mandatory, but it does help out. Some other options are Omnioculus for the damage reduction whenever you're invisible, which will be pretty helpful since you are going invisible a lot. Graviton Forfeit is okay if you're a noob. Uh, the 6 Coyote is pretty good for an extra dodge. Or you can use Orpheus Rig slash start your scales for boss damage, but honestly, I would never run Orpheus Rig all the time since if you're using Frosties or literally any other exotic, you can just swap to Orpheus Rig whenever you're wanting to use your super, and then you can just swap back to whatever you were using before so that you have the Frosties or, for example, for neutral game, and then you can just hot swap to the Orpheus Rig whenever you need that boss damage. For the rest of the build, it's honestly pretty simple. Of course, we're going to be using the Funnel Web since it's pretty much the best weapon right now. The reason that it's the best is because it's going to take advantage of the Volatile Flow mod better than other weapons because of the fact that it's going to shoot so fast and have that fire rate, meaning that it's going to proc the Volatile Rounds internal cooldown as much as possible. This is pretty much the best ad clear in the game, but feel free to use any Void weapon or Osmosis primary weapon of your choosing. I'll also leave some good weapon recommendations in the comments down below and feel free to recommend some of your favorite weapons yourself. As for the funnel web roll, ideally you want some combination of subsistence, perpetual motion, frenzy, and adrenaline junkie. Ideally, I would go for subsistence and adrenaline junkie with this setup. As for the other weapons, I have an explosive light rocket on just so that I can always be picking up those orbs. The Palmyra is good because you can get auto loading as well and you can just go craft it. Ideally, you'd want something that is void so that you can take advantage of volatile flow and font of might for that extra boss damage, but with the orb power limitation, this is kind of the best that we've got. I'm not sure if there's a void rocket in the game that has explosive light, but you could also look for a grenade launcher. Some good void rockets, if you're curious, are Red Herring, Deathbringer, and Royal Entry. As for the primary, you can use pretty much whatever you want. I've been testing out the new fusion rifle, but truthfully, it's not that great. You can't go wrong with something like Wither Horde or a Blinding Jail with Demolitionist, though, but feel free to use whatever you want, since the Funnel Web is going to be doing the majority of the work anyways. But in order to make the Funnel Web do its job, we need to proc Volatile Flow and Font of Might. The best way to consistently do this is with Elemental Ordnance, since we're spamming our grenades like crazy, and that's going to spawn some wells every single time that we get a kill with our grenade, pretty much guaranteed. Pair that with Reaping Wellmaker, and we spawn Void Wells pretty much every 4-5 to five seconds, depending on how, you know, how much you're killing enemies and how much you're spamming your abilities. Slap on Bountiful Wells, and each well that we spawn is now going to spawn double the wells, and when we pick them up, it's going to give us an insane amount of energy back for our dodge and our grenade, although this mod is pretty much optional, and you can swap this around to any other options that you want. Slap Bomber onto your class items, so you get grenade energy whenever you dodge. Alternatively, you can replace one of these Bomber mods for the Devouring Depths artifact, which is going to give you 30% extra damage with your super whenever you have Devour active, which of course we will have active a lot with the Orb of Power stuff. So if you're doing something like the raid, I'd highly recommend just slapping this on real quick. Put on Grenade Kickstart on your gloves so you reduce the cooldown of your grenade by an extra few seconds, or feel free to use a loader mod of your choosing. And then you can put on Recuperation for survivability on your boots, paired with Innervation to even further reduce the cooldown of your grenade when you pick up an Orb of Power. And then you're all set. Now you can pretty much just go into any form of content, even the raid. Just get a few kills with your primary, spawn an orb, get devour, spam your dodge and grenade every few seconds, spawning a ton of wells with your funnel web, shred everything with your funnel web, full healing yourself, proccing invisibility, reducing the cooldown of your grenade even more via devour, throw some more grenades, throw some more dodges out, etc, etc, rinse and repeat. Because of how often you can have your grenade up and 100% uptime with the volatile flow and the font of might with your funnel web, this is probably the best hunter build that I've ever used because it feels like it literally just has everything. You have the survivability with Devour, you have your grenades as, as often as you want, and you have the on-demand uh, invisibility, which is extremely valuable. I wouldn't say that it's quite as consistent as Warlock or Titan in terms of ad clear because you do need to get Devour in the first place via an orb while Warlock kind of just has that built in. 
but honestly it's probably the best that we're ever going to get on Hunter, and having the invisibility is certainly an advantage here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated as it helps me out a ton, especially since I'm pretty new to making Destiny videos still. Share it with your friends, and subscribe for videos similar to this one, and make sure to comment down below if there's any other builds that you guys would like to see from me in the future. Thanks a ton, and I will see you guys later. Peace.